This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story. The horrifying trial of nurse Lucy Letby continues to unveil sinister details surrounding the alleged murder of newborn babies at the Countess of Chester Neonatal Unit. The 33-year-old nurse is accused of targeting 17 babies between June 2015 and June 2016, causing the death of seven and attempting to murder 10 others. The emotionally charged courtroom listened intently as expert witnesses provided their testimonies on the perplexing cases of alleged infanticide. Among the victims was a triplet, child O, who collapsed suddenly under Letby's care after being born in good health. The nurse is also accused of murdering one of child O's brothers, child P, the following day. The prosecution's case is built upon the assertion that the baby suffered from injuries inflicted by Letby, including traumatic liver damage and fatal injections of air into their stomachs and bloodstreams. Dr. Andres Marnerides, a pediatric pathology expert, told the court that child O's liver injuries were comparable to those seen in fatal road traffic accidents and non-accidental assaults. During cross-examination, Ben Myers Casey questioned whether forceful CPR could have caused the extensive liver damage observed in child O. Dr. Marnerides, a consultant at London Street Thomas Hospital expressed doubt, stating that he had never seen such injuries in the context of CPR. He likened the force required to cause such damage to that of a baby falling while jumping on a trampoline. When asked about the possibility of forceful CPR causing the internal bruising observed in child O's liver, Dr. Marnerides said, We are not discussing possibilities here. We are discussing probabilities. He went on to use the analogy of a person found dead in the Sahara Desert with head trauma and a pot nearby, asking whether it was probable the pot had fallen from a helicopter. He concluded that such a possibility was improbable, as was the chance of forceful CPR causing child O's liver injuries. Regarding child P's death, Dr. Monarides believed that excessive air injected via a nasogastric tube into the baby's stomach was the most likely explanation. Letby, who denies all charges, is also alleged to have attempted to murder 10 other babies in her care. In a shocking twist, it was revealed that a pediatrician working in the same unit where Letby is accused of committing these heinous crimes had praised her abilities as a nurse. The pediatrician had become a friend of Letby's, and in a series of late-night Facebook messages exchanged in June 2016, told her that he found her so capable that he would trust her with his own children. The conversation began with Letby expressing anxiety over being questioned by John Gibbs, one of the senior pediatricians at the Countess of Chester Hospital, about the collapse of baby Q. The pediatrician reassured her that no one had accused her of neglecting a baby or causing deterioration. Letby shared her concerns about her performance, given the recent deaths of Baby O and Baby P, and the doctor reaffirmed his confidence in her abilities. Despite her self-doubt, the doctor continued to praise Letby, insisting she should take the advanced pediatric nurse practitioner course and that she would excel in it. He reiterated his trust in her by mentioning his own children and stating that she was one of the few nurses across the region he would trust with them. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story, a gripping true crime podcast that takes you deep into the chilling tale of allegations against Lucy Letby, a seemingly caring and dedicated nurse who harbored a dark secret. Join us as we unravel the twisted journey of a medical professional whose actions sent shockwaves throughout the healthcare community. It's the story of a nurse who went from saving lives to becoming the harbinger of death. This is Nurse of Death, the Lucy Letby story.